welcome back to another Heather Mac Reacts. Today we're doing another Am I the A Hole post thread sub stories from. <laughs> We're doing stories from Am I the A-Hole today, okay? Whatever it is, that's what we're doing. I hope you're ready, because I'm ready, let's go. Am I the A-Hole for eating a kid's meal? No, you're not. <laughs> you have a little belly, you eat what you want to eat, okay? And if you have a big belly, you eat what you want to eat, you eat what you want to eat no matter what. Okay, I was out eating lunch today with a couple friends of mine, Clay, 24 male, and M Micah, Mika, 22 mail. I ordered something off the kids menu and lately I've been doing that sometimes if I go out to eat just to save money. Hey, I get it, the adult portions are usually really big and I have leftovers so why not just do a kids meal and eat the whole thing? I don't have to carry home leftovers and remember to reheat them and they never are that good when you reheat them unless of course it's Italian food then it's really good. Okay, let's get back to it's usually enough to satisfy me and it costs as much as a small side option. Clay thought it was weird and the whole time was like, no, no, don't do that. You're an adult. That food is for children. I was like, it's not baby food. It's a small burger and mac and cheese. It tastes good and it's really cheap. It's like $7. He was acting like it was cringe and couldn't let it go all day and even said I was being an asshole because I was taking food that was supposed to be for kids. You're, you're not taking food that's for kids. <laughs> oh my gosh. He also apologized for to the waitress for my behavior. <laughs> Nico was like, okay, this entire situation is just weird as hell. Both of you are being weirdos. He and Clay both left hours before they planned on leaving. I don't think what I did was morally wrong or something, but it is just not my... But it, it, is it just not my place to order a kid's meal when I'm 23 or something? Everything else on their menu was at least $15 besides salad. No, order what you want. Like, I can understand, like, okay, I used to work, we talked about this before, I used to work at a restaurant that was like a kid oriented restaurant friendlies. If you as an adult ordered a kid's meal, that was fine. But I think like you didn't, like you were allowed to order that portion and pay for that portion. But I think that like, what, the, the, was it like no like free drink with it or something like you had to like pay for like an adult sized beverage or something something like that but yeah no it's just it's <laughs> and this is a small burger I'm sure they have tons of these small burgers in the back and as far as like friendlies would go it was not special food for the kids most of the time it was just like well chicken tenders but instead of getting like five or six in an adult size you get like two or three in a kid size like it wasn't just food that was made for kids it's not just like taking food out of babies mouths because you're cheap like <laughs> Oh my god, no, you are not the a-hole. Can someone else please let me know? <laughs> let me know because I don't get it. I think this is hilarious and also ridiculous. Let's move on, let's move on, let's move on. Okay, am I the a-hole for not inviting my husband's side of the family to my twin's second birthday? Listen, as someone who is married and has to, you know, coordinate with husband's family, they should not be left out of anything, but there might be a reason. So let's see. Me, female 27, and sister-in-law, female 32. Oh, my sister-in-law. I can't with these. I'm so bad at them. My sister-in-law is very overbearing and has to be the center of attention, which is fine most of the time. I'm a very passive person who prefers to not be the center of attention. Sister-in-law has proven to make things about her on numerous occasions. She's announced her pregnancy at my engagement party. Ma'am. Shared she was moving to another state at her brother's graduation. Ma'am. And more little things to steal moments from others. She seems to have the whole family wrapped around her little finger. Last year, I was starting to plan my twin's first birthday party with her living out of state. I asked her to let me know if she could make it on the date I had picked out. She confirmed, and so I went on with planning. Excuse me. There we go. Flash forward to about a month before the party, I sent out email invitations to her birthday party. To their birthday party, my bad. My husband and then, my husband and I then got bombarded with texts saying that every person on his side couldn't make it, including sister-in-law. I was upset, but even more so when we asked each person why. Father-in-law and mother-in-law are divorced and remarried, so each had a different excuse. Father-in-law said that he had season tickets to a small local college game on that day. It wasn't a special game the day we were holding the party. Okay, yeah, like, come on. Mother-in-law, who is a on-the-go barber, said she had to do hair for a client that day. 
sounds sus. The husband's godmother said she had plans at her lake house that weekend. Finally, sister-in-law texted us back and told us that we that she could make it if we combined her baby shower with the twins' first birthday. She is about two months pregnant at this point. Ma'am, you don't get a baby shower at two months pregnant. I was confused because she had already said she could make it and had planned on making it. Then his side of the family started texting us about her idea. She told everyone that we were going to do it before we even agreed. I had spent months planning the boy's first birthday. I know it's silly and they'll never remember their first birthday, but it was special to us. I get it, man. That first year is rough. And when you make it to a year, you're like, hell yeah. <laughs> I didn't do anything big or special for my son's first birthday just because I didn't care enough. But some people do and that's okay you know it's your money it's your life you do your thing you're not hurting anybody then suddenly everyone could come and move their plans around their <laughs> move their plants around for this combined baby shower birthday party i refuse to combine their party with her baby shower you can take the attention away from me but you can't take the attention away from my babies that's where i draw the line his whole family was angry and decided to go back to their original plans and not come to the boy's first birthday and said we'll celebrate another day she planned her shower for the day after their party so everyone came to her baby shower and at the end of it they sang happy birthday to the twins i know it's petty but this year i decided not to invite them to the twins birthday party their party is next month and my husband supports us not inviting them however my mother-in-law asked us when their party was going to be and I told her they weren't invited this year because of the way they disregarded my kids last year she had a huge fit so am I the a-hole to leave out his side of the family after they ditched my boys last year um I mean it's a little petty it's a little tip for tad I mean is this what's best for the boys or is this what's best for you I think I think that is a question for you and not for me and that is what depends on if you are the able or not. So self-reflect a little maybe. <laughs> I wanna know what you guys think in the comments. I don't think it's cool to leave family out, but I also think that family doesn't get a pass just because they're family. Like you don't get to act any type of way just because you're related or by blood or marriage. So um, yeah, I think you gotta think about your motivations. Is this what's best for the kids, keeping them away from that other family? Or are you doing the right thing by them because they're being disregarded by that family? So that's that's what I have to say. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, next story. Am I the a-hole for not paying for my daughter's wedding because she invited my brother and his family? So apparently Reddit has already deemed this person not the a-hole, but I'm gonna see what I have to say first because my word matters. I'm a 46 male and my brother is 48 male. When I was 20, my then girlfriend cheated with my brother. I was heartbroken and pissed. I told him he is no longer my brother. Despite my request, my family didn't cut him off. So I told them I will never again be in the same place as he is. Okay, I mean, that's a grudge, you do you. If they wish to invite both, then they should just invite him as I am the one giving the ult giving ultimate, <laughs> giving the ultimatum. My daughter is getting married in spring next year. In our culture, both parents are paying for the wedding 50-50. Unexpectedly, my daughter sat me down and told me that she will be inviting my brother and his family. He married my cheating ex. Oh, see, that's a little spicier. Apparently she was seeing them for the last four years and built a relationship behind my back. She even wants her cousin to be some kind of flower girl. I was pissed. I told her what my boundaries are. And if my brother is invited, then I will not pay my part of the wedding. She became angry and told me it's time to let go of the past. I told her it's not her call to make. We argued some more and she told me I am making her wedding about myself. I told her, her I will probably not even attend so it will be all about her she left crying my ex-wife called me screaming and told me i'm a huge a-hole and our daughter is crushed then my parents called same thing i told them off and now i'm ignoring their calls my girlfriend told me to reconsider and apologize that by not paying and attending i will break relationship with my daughter i don't know i think my boundaries should be respected am i the a-hole for that um yeah reddit what are you talking about he is an a-hole listen that feud is yours not your daughter's and if your daughter wants him at her wedding then you can either suck it up and ignore him all night or i guess you don't come to the wedding but that doesn't mean you don't pay for it you're still her father and why are you making your feuds into her feuds she doesn't have to hate your brother because you do that's not fair okay reddit what are I disagree. You are definitely the a-hole. I want to know what you think in the comments, but I'm 
pretty convinced about this one. <laughs> okay, next one. Am I the a-hole for throwing my friend's dead girlfriend in his face when he was making fun of my dying dog? Okay, I think most of that sentence is pretty messed up. Uh, and everyone kind of seems like the a-hole, but let's see. I guess making fun is the wrong term, more like bringing them up in an argument. For context, we're both in high school. Well, when my best friend was in middle school, his girlfriend at the time passed away. Understandably, he was scarred. He never healed from it. And of course, whenever he needed to talk about it or was just sad about it, I would be there for him as a shoulder to cry on or as someone to talk to. I also have a dog. I have had this dog since I was three years old. So she has been a part of my family for as long as I can remember. She is, of course, very old, but she also has cancer and is blind and deaf, essentially a walking corpse at this point. My mom came in to tell me to say my goodbyes to her because she likely wasn't going to make it through the week. Of course, being sad I thought to be a good idea to reach out to my friend as he had me so many times to me instead of being there for me he decided that it was a good idea to have a debate about whether or not I should put my dog down and how she should have died a long time ago obviously I wasn't in the mood for this and as politely as I could told him I didn't want to debate him on this and that I was just sad and wanted someone to be there for me to which he continued to dig into it at this point, I was pissed as he began to start making jokes about me being an animal abuser, to which I blurted out that he was a prick and that I was hurting at the moment and his jokes were making it worse. He continued. I then said, I will remember this the next time you reach out to me about your dead ex-girlfriend, you fucking prick. Spicy, but I get it. That's mean. What are you doing? Obviously not the right thing to say. He was at this point furious with me, stating that I was never his friend and none of my friends like me, how he hopes my dog dies violently and painfully and such. What did the dog do to you, bro? I eventually apologized for bringing his dead ex into the conversation, but he has yet to apologize for anything he has said to me and likely won't. I understand where he is coming from, but I was so shocked that I had been there for him so many times about serious issues. But the moment I want someone to be there for me, he tried to make his best to make things. He tried his best to make things worse. Am I the asshole? No. No, he deserved it. Why be mean about someone's dog dying? Like, what? What? Why? What? What? How is that making? Is that making you feel better? Like this dude's this dude's dog is dying, and you're no. That's not nice. No, no, not the a hole. I want to know what you think in the comments. That's all we have for today. I guess I was just not fired up today. We'll have to we'll have to try again. We'll have to try again. <laughs> Please don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.